falling is one of humans' deepest, most primordial fears. And it's a worthy thing to be afraid of, given that the impact from any fall of significant height is likely to cause serious injuries and could even lead to death. This reality is likely the reason why people are so scared of heights, yet it's actually possible to live through even the most traumatic falls, as people who have fallen off of buildings but live to tell the tale prove. There are all types of situations whereby someone might accidentally plummet from a great height. They could fall from the side of a cruise ship in rough seas or have their parachute fail to open during a skydive. Whatever the case, it's perfectly clear that falling from anything high would be a truly terrifying ordeal. Just take heart from the fact that such incidents do not always equal death. 1. Vesna Vyalovic holds the record for the highest fall survived without a parachute. In January 1972, Vesna Vyalovic was on a flight over what was then Czechoslovakia as a flight attendant for Yugoslovensky Aerotransport. The aircraft broke up in midair when a bomb exploded on board, killing everybody with the exception of Vyalovic. She fell an estimated 33,333 feet before landing on the ground and somehow managed to survive. She was seriously injured from the accident, however. She spent 16 months in the hospital and was in a coma for 27 days, as well as having dozens of broken bones. However, she went on to make a full recovery. 2. Bear Grylls almost died in an SAS training mission. Before he became a popular television personality and adventurer, Bear Grylls spent a short amount of time in the armed forces. During this military service, he was involved with the SAS Territorial Army and took part in a training exercise over Zambia. During a skydive, his parachute failed to inflate. Thinking he had time to fix the problem before he hit the ground, he chose not to open the reserve chute and instead fell 16,000 feet and landed on his parachute pack. Although he narrowly avoided severing his spinal cord, he did break his back, which required him to go through 12 months of 10-hour-a-day physiotherapy. 3. Julianne Koep lived after her plane was struck by lightning. Julianne Koep was a passenger on a flight traveling over Peru on Christmas Eve in 1971 when the plane began to experience heavy turbulence. After several minutes of passing through the storm, an engine on the wing was hit by lightning, and the aircraft plummeted towards the ground. Julianne was the only survivor out of the 91 passengers on board, and the 17 year old landed in the jungle with a broken collarbone, one shoe, and only a few sweets for food, she spent 10 days in the Peruvian jungle before she was rescued. The leading theory for how she survived is that the heavy vegetation softened her fall while the row of seats she was strapped in acted as a makeshift glider. 4. Christine McKenzie fell 11,000 feet onto power lines. August 2004 was not a good month for South African skydiver Christine McKenzie. The 23-year-old was in free fall when her parachute failed to open. This prompted her to try her reserve chute, but this too malfunctioned and became tangled as it partially inflated. The incredibly rare occurrence meant that Mackenzie hardly slowed before she smashed into a series of power lines, before hitting the ground. Those power lines saved her life, though, absorbing most of the energy from the fall and drastically reducing her impact. Despite the fact that literally everything that could go wrong in her jump did go wrong, Mackenzie managed to survive with just a broken pelvis and some bruising. 5. Alan McGee lived through a plane crash. World War II Air Force Sergeant Alan McGee was part of a B-17 Flying Fortress crew that was hit by German fire during a mission. The airman not only found himself plummeting towards the planet's surface in the wreckage of his plane, but he had also been hit by gunfire during the attack. Yet, miraculously, he still managed to eject himself from the aircraft. Falling through the air, McGee found that his parachute wouldn't work as it had been damaged, meaning he was in free fall when he crashed through the glass ceiling of a train station. Bizarrely, this glass ceiling actually managed to save his life, cushioning the fall enough so that he only had some minor injuries. 6. Miracle Man Joshua Hansen survives fall from City Hotel. Joshua Hansen astounded doctors when he survived a 200-foot fall from a hotel that would almost certainly have killed anyone else. The accident happened when Hansen ran from an elevator in January 2007. He lost his balance and fell through a window, plummeting from the 17th floor of the building onto an overhanging roof. From there, he fell to the ground, somehow landing on his feet. 
The 29-year-old suffered a myriad of serious injuries, including internal bleeding and multiple broken bones, but was lucky to simply stay alive. 7. James Bull stayed alive during a skydive gone wrong. James Bull is an incredibly experienced skydiver who completed some 2,500 jumps during his lifetime. However, all of this experience did not prevent him from falling 6,000 feet in Russia when he opened his parachute too late for it to fully inflate. He hit the ground with a tremendous amount of force, leaving a one-yard crater in the snow. Somehow, Bull was able to survive, sustaining a broken back and ribs. This allowed a miraculous recovery whereby he could walk after just a week of the accident. 8. Steve Fawcett's hot air balloon was destroyed by a storm as he crashed to earth. Steve Fawcett was an adventurer who made several attempts to travel around the world in a hot air balloon. In one such attempt in August 1998, he suffered a catastrophic accident as his balloon crashed into a storm front. Hale tore apart the structure and sent his small capsule tumbling towards earth. After falling almost 30,000 feet, Fawcett woke up to discover he had not only survived the ordeal, but was also completely unharmed. The capsule had landed in water and protected him from injury, though, he did have to spend 10 hours at sea before he was rescued. 9. Teen survived suicide leap from Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge has become a hugely popular location for those attempting to commit suicide. The 200-plus FT fall kills 98% of all of those who jump on impact, and the icy cold waters below make it even harder to survive. But survival is possible. This is exactly what happened to a 16-year-old girl who jumped from the bridge in April 2011. Precisely how she survived is not known, but research suggests that the younger and fitter a person is the more likely they are to manage to live through the ordeal. 10. Felix Baumgartner survived a jump from space. Unlike many of the entries in this article, Felix Baumgartner did not fall from a great height by accident. Instead, his plummet was a stunt performed in partnership with Red Bull in October 2012. The Austrian jumped out of a balloon at a staggering 128,100 feet and reached a maximum speed of 833.9 miles per hour during the descent. Although the parachute deployed as planned in the last few seconds of the 10-minute drop, Felix did run into trouble twice. While heading down into the final part of Earth's atmosphere, his visor began to fog due to a malfunction, and while he was dropping he began to tumble rather than remain in a special delta position. Fortunately, he managed to recover and was completely unharmed upon landing. 11. The World War II gunner who jumped from a burning plane lived. The year of 1944 was a torrid time for anyone living in Europe, but members of the Royal Air Force faced even more danger as it was the height of the Battle of Britain. In March of that year, rear gunner SGT Nicholas Alchemade was in a Lancaster bomber that was hit by enemy fire. With his parachute destroyed by the resulting fire, the airman had only one choice, to jump from the plane before it crashed. Falling from at least 18,000 feet, his landing was softened by trees and deep snow in Berlin, meaning he only broke a wrist and his leg. 12. Tim Stilwell fell from the 15th floor of a hotel. After finding out that he was locked out of his own apartment in June 2013, Tim Stilwell decided the best course of action was to try to hang and drop onto his neighbor's balcony. Things didn't exactly go as planned, and the 20-year-old slipped and fell from the 15th floor of the building and landed on the roof of a building at ground level. According to medical experts who attended the scene, he was incredibly lucky to have survived the fall, and some suggested that the roof of the building may have broken his fall, preventing life-threatening injuries. He came away with broken bones and internal bruising, but was expected to make a full recovery.